Welcome to Dust Off the Bricks. So, uh, not fil haven't been filming very much recently, but um, I've done a lot. Uh, so the video I posted last week was like two weeks ago. Um, I was just trying to save my videos because I've been super busy with work, uh, dad life, just stuff like that. So haven't gotten a ton done. So now, uh, here I'm back. It's been a while. Um, I haven't been filming a lot of things that have been happening in my Lego room because it's only been like 15 minutes here, 20 minutes here, 30 minutes there. I guess I could have filmed the whole thing, but I just wanted to get stuff done and pull out a camera, filming, talking about it, delays the whole proce uh, process. So I'm back. Um, I have lots to talk about because if you know behind me, lots of empty shelves and full to the top so i think last time i filmed they were there so i got six more shelves and was able to replace well i'm trying to use my gyroscope today um and then filled in my broken one okay so i went out and, and filled up uh buckets for my bricks instead of drawers so all my bricks are there which then cleared out what one two three four five uh areas so i was able to fill those all in with a random brick that was getting very compacted in here so and not like and then also cleared out a bunch of spaces so like this drawer had a pap cup up there um there's a pad cup up there full of them, and then I had another drawer like this filled with them. So getting tons of things more organized. Realized I have to go all the way to the roof. These totes are not going to stay there. They are going to go right here where these other drawers are going to go. And uh, I'm going to stack them. So behind here is a vent. So I have to lift, uh, build something up, and then also push the air coming from the vent over and then i'm going to be able to stack the these totes on top of that and all the way up so that's happened all the sets that i took off the shelf to make more space finally did what uh, mark of Fallworth does great youtube channel check it out um and just grabbed a tub i mean this is a lot smaller than his but filled this whole tub, tub up with those sets then slowly just been trying to go through and grab certain pieces out of it <clears throat> These were on top of the shelf up there. Um, so now I have to figure out <laughs> what to do with these ones. I do have three more of these drawers coming. Um, so I'll have five drawers. Technically I could put the brick back in it. Uh, might do that. I could use all these for my instruction manuals. But that's what's happened since I've been gone. Nothing really happened in the zoo. Oh, I built also a ton of sets. I built like 15 sets, something like that. Um, I built them at work because there's times at work where there is nothing to do. Um, so I have a little bit of downtime and also all my lunches and stuff like that. So I built a bunch of sets. So this sh pretty much these two rows of sh uh, shelves are full of sets that I ha need to review and then some even over here like that one so yeah so um that's what's been happening in the lego room that i haven't filmed in the last like week to two weeks to maybe even three weeks but i've been saving off putting the minifigures on here so um i'm gonna go put all the minifigures on there and then show you what it looks like i'm not gonna record it because i think it'll be boring but let's get to it i'm loving this this is awesome. So obviously, like, they're not in any particular order. I try to keep them in order, but maybe when I move to night shift and have a bunch of time in here again, I'll be able to put them in order. And some of them are just cool minifigures. Uh, like up here, oh, those are all CMS still. But up here, these are all from, like, Disney and Friends. I just, like, bought them, bought the sets for the minifigures. So I was like, oh, I'll just keep them. So then I put those up. These ones are coming soon. I'm, in, I'm working on trying to get a complete collection. Then up here, I think I'm going to leave a bigger gap. 
um, because I left an inch between these two. I think I'm going to leave like four. So I have a whole row display, all my big figs. These guys probably won't stay. I just think they're cool and iconic and also clears off the top of my shelf over there. They were all over here. Oh, maybe I should throw these guys up there too with my big figs. But it clears off the top of my shelf because in reality, there's a potential that there might be more stuff stacked, more shelves stacked up there. So I'm probably going to need all of that space. You know what? I'm gonna, I think I have some Yoshis up there too. I have to wait for my gyroscope to catch up with me spinning around and stuff. So I think I have three. I'm trying to look through my camera to just see what's up here. All right. Maybe I should put my this bionicle. Wait, what's up here? Oh, just random stuff. I should probably throw Tigura up there, which is this guy. But yeah, I can clear off pretty much all my random stuff that's keeping up there. All right, gyroscope, keep up, go a little faster. Oh, I was hoping that he would fit up here on a normal shelf, but he won't. Ah, I don't have space for him. I can jam all these together right over here. Oh, okay. Okay, and these guys will fit over here. So I'll just do that for now. It's kind of hard setting them up and my hands full of other guys. Oh, these guys are kind of stuck in there. All right, there we go. This guy's falling over. I don't know if there's any more other colored Yoshis I'm missing, but uh, if you guys know, leave in the comment below that I need uh, more Yoshis. But yeah, this wall looks so much better than when they were over here. They were over there. Just I took them off in my first Lego vlog. But man, so uh, I mean, this is probably going to be a really quick video because in reality, I'm leaving in a few days for a Lego vacation. Uh, going to Orla Atlanta Brick Company for a day and a half, driving down to Orlando, going to Orlando Brick Company, going to um, Legoland for a day, and then I'm going to be headed, uh, and then I'll check out the Lego store at uh, um, Disney Springs. But yeah, um, so this is kind of just a quick like little update on what's going on. I'm, You'll get my vlogs from the vacation, but when I get back, I'm going to be trying to knock out so many reviews on all these sets so that I can clear it off because half these sets are just here because I got to get them on a good deal and I always do a review on my sets before I take, take them apart. So I'm going to be trying to make this Lego display not so crazy. So... Do that, and then I'm gonna be doing some crazy work on the zoo when I come back. So right now, just doing this. Oh, and I got all these. So that will video will be posted before or after this one. I'm not sure. I'll be doing a review also on this set, and that will be might be before this video or after. Don't know, but yeah. So um, lots of changes coming to the Lego room. There's still a little chaos going on here and there, but uh, let me know what you think of this wall. Eventually it'll be a full wall of minifigures and then I'll just keep buying those shelves and bring it all the way to the ceiling and then all the way to the floor and then maybe around the top and just uh, all the way around. I also got a few more guys up there. Got a little chimney guy and a Batman a light, but yeah, so that's happening. Oh, why I needed these drawers. I don't know if I was saying this before, but why I got these drawers and why I needed to clear out these drawers and also pick up some more of these drawers um, is when I took apart those sets uh, in my last vlog, if you haven't seen it, I'll probably put it in the link description below. But uh, I was filling up shelves left and or drawers left and right from taking apart all the sets and a lot more sets are coming apart most likely probably when I switch back to night shift in a month. Um, I'll be doing a ton of work in here. Get a lot more progress done on the zoo. Um, the first zoo video is out if you do want to see the progress. And if you look very carefully, um, if you have seen it, some things have changed. So, but lots of sets are coming out. Or lots of sets are coming apart. And lots of pieces are going to get filled up. So, 
and I've been going to the brick shop. A uh, link in the description of the brick shop. They hook me up every single time I go in there. They're great. Uh, Kennewick, Washington. Um, I'm, I stop in there a couple times a week just to see how things are going. But they've been hooking me up a lot for pieces with for the zoo. And just their pat, their bulk brick is amazing. I'll tell you some things like I got some of. All right, here it is. Some of the chrome uh, little harpoon pieces that they don't make anymore. Um, that's the thing is like, I just, I'll, if I go to see a uh, bulk break with pieces they don't make anymore, that's awesome. All these green pieces, I don't know what they came from. I know the yellow ones came from uh, Aqua Zone. I don't know where the green ones came from. I just picked them all up. Um, but tons of cool colors and stuff like that. Retired pieces, picked a bunch. Of, oh, I, I wanna know if anybody knows about this piece right up there. Um, it's pretty cool little uh, base plate type thing. I picked that up at the brick shop. You had me. I paid a dollar for it. Um, actually, probably less than a dollar, but that's because he hooked me up. But uh, yeah, definitely go check out the brick shop if you're in the Kennewick, Washington area. But yeah, so uh, that's a quick little uh, Lego room update. Like, not crazy amount is happening. Not going to do a crazy amount. Just fill that up which also cleared up this. Oh, another thing that's gonna be happening is up top here, besides all that dust, it's all those uh, lights. Those lights used to be plugged in to an outlet right there. Can't reach that outlet, they aren't plugged in. But if you look, it's completely flat up there without those, I mean, there'll be holes where the lights are, but um, I'm thinking about taking all those lights out and then I have a whole other shelf to display stuff. So definitely trying to maximum maximize the amount of Lego I can fit into this little Lego room. So, hey, uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, thanks for coming by. Um, it's kind of been fun just kind of showing people my day to day in my Lego room and what's happening and updates and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys like it too. Link in a comment or leave a comment below if you do like this and. Uh, if you guys keep wanting to see how much more Lego I can fit in this Lego room, uh, it's going to be a fun little adventure. Um, don't think I'm getting a new Lego room in the next couple years, so this is probably what I'm going to be dealing with. So, uh, but hopefully I can get started on that soon. But, like, uh, once again, thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. 